I woke up to screaming this morning. That's normal. Not screaming, yelling. It's either um, yelling from my sister or um, my mom vacuuming. <clears throat> there are rules. There are um, unspoken rules of what, excuse me, you're allowed to talk about online. Um, but I've broken all of them anyway, so why not? Um, I find that whenever I try to talk to people in real life about what's going on with me, um, they tend to always talk over me or they're always like, oh, I have a solution for you. And I and I and I always get frustrated. I get so angry and I'm like, you're not listening. So I'm just going to stop talking. Um, so let me stop being so vague and start from my memory. And I know that everything's all about perspective. You know, um, the way I see things is different from how my brothers see things and from how my mom sees things, etc., etc. Um, so when I was in um high school, my um my sister went into like repetitive seizures and she had epilepsy and then they put her into a coma, um, into into a medically induced coma um for several months. And I remember um spending the night at the hospital, um, me and my brother running around the hospital playing games. Um and then um when she when they pulled her out of the coma um, they had to take like a piece of her brain so she would stop having seizures. And then um, I remember getting a lot of um, pity and sympathy from people in high school. Them being like, oh, we're praying for you. I hope everything's okay, et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, I remember just burying myself in my school books because this thing that sounds so bad. I didn't really care. I didn't care that she wasn't well. Um, she and I never really got along. Um, fast forward to now, um, my sister does not walk. Um, her um, muscles are so weak. Um, they've tried to put in physical therapy several times throughout these 15 years. I think it's six, going on 16 years now. But um, <clears throat> I think it's a combination of psychological, mental, and she likes the attention. Or maybe there's something in her brain that she's very mean. She's very, very mean. She says the nastiest things to me. And then she'll switch up. So switch up and say something really nice. And I forgot about that. I forgot about that side of her. Um, like I said, she'll in the morning she'll she'll yell at my mom, give me my phone, put this on the TV, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. She'll just be she'll just yell and she'll be so bossy. And then when other people are around, she'll just switch it up. Recently, we went out to um to dinner, um for someone's birthday. Whose birthday was it? I forgot but um we went out to dinner and she faked a seizure I swear she faked a seizure for attention and I know that sounds so evil this sounds so evil for the physically disabled community but you don't live with her you don't see what she does and now um I just pretend like she's not there I do the gray rock method. I just walk by her and she'll just say mean things to me like, you you slut, that's why you're such a bitch. That's why he left you, such a blah, blah, blah. And I just ignore it. I ignore it. And I say to myself, she doesn't know any better. Um, Why don't you try to rep repair your relationship? Been there, tried that, I give up. Um, With my mom, um, she's diagnosed um bipolar and she touches everything every day it's me texting her or verbally telling her or calling her please stop touching my things and she's so unreliable um 
as I've been job hopping, trying to find a, a steady job, um, I've been having to rely on her or my brother to, to pick me up or to take me places. And then it will take like literally hours. And I'm like, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just sit in this restaurant and, and, I'll, and I'll edit. I'll reply to comments, et cetera, et cetera. But it's like, I'm supposed to be able to rely on you. And then the touching of my things, the rearranging of my things, I feel like I'm going crazy. Cause it's like, did, did I move that there? Or did she move it there? Like, am, am I losing my mind? You know? And like I said, I said every day, literally every day, I'll walk out the door, don't touch my things. I wake up in the, I walk, wake up in the morning, don't touch my things, and she does. And I know that this is this has become, become a, a habit for her. This has become a pattern for her. I know that. But literally every day for the past year, I've realized why I moved out, why I didn't want to come back. This is going to sound even more evil, but um, I think that when my dad passed, I've told people this before and they're like, well, what makes you say that? And it's like, once again, you're not listening. I'm trying to distract myself. Um, I think that when my dad passed, we should have been taken away from my mom. I remember child services coming a couple of times. And they said everything was fine. Everything was a go. And everything was fine-ish growing up. I was going to say there was food on the table, but sometimes there wasn't. Even now, I'll come home starving. And I look in the fridge and there's nothing. I look in the cabinets, cabinets and there's nothing. And I was like, this is familiar. I remember this. It's become a habit all my life to go to bed hungry. And I know that I said I get my kindness from my mom, but I also get my lying from my mom too. She lies a lot. Something that that's, she'll commonly say is, um, um, there's no gas in the car. And I'll be in the car with her and I look at it and I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm looking at it right there. And we're not going hours away. We're going five minutes away. And if I give you cash, what are you going to do with that cash? You're not going to put gas in the car. I know that you're not. So I learned a lie from her. Um... What else did I want to say? This was unplanned. This is all feelings. This is all frustration. And I can't go coexist with them anymore. There's no peace. Like I say, said, I, I wake up to screaming. I have no privacy. It's so loud. I spent the night at my friend's house a couple of nights last week, actually. And I woke up and it felt weird. It felt weird to be so, so for it to be so quiet. Something that I'm really big on is, um, so you need, you need to take a test for a driver's license. You need to take a test for, for various other things, but it just, anyone can have a child. And I think that's a problem. I think that a lot of the generational curses are broken. Um, I think my, my family generational curse is broken because I'm um, looking at my cousin's kids. They're fine. You know? They're, they're eating great, you know, they're, they're, they're so heavily spoiled and that's great for them. That's great for them. And I think that the curse should end with me. And I think that that's very selfless to say that, why do you wanna have kids in the first place? And if, if you're gonna say out loud because because I want to do a better job than what my parents did, that's not a good enough reason. 
that's such a that's such a it's it's kind of like you're making like a competition it's kind of like you're using that child to be like look look i, I like look I, I i'm i might suck at all these other areas but i'm a great parent what the fuck like I said, it's not a competition, and I think that that is essential to have a grandparent in the in the child's life because then they'll be they'll be missing that. And I think that if, another thing that you if you if you say something like I have so much love to give and I want to give it to a child that doesn't have to be necessarily your child from your womb. Work at a daycare, be a teacher, volunteer somewhere. And I know this sounds very cruel. And I know, I know this sounds very targeted. But you see examples of these people every day online, don't you? I mean, hell, look at me. You see examples of what happens when you grow up in a traumatic household. And then you, you, you suddenly wake up as an adult and you realize that was bad. That shouldn't have happened for 18 years. Um, but then there are some miracle stories, I guess. I was listening to um this kid, Christopher, I don't want to get his last name wrong, but um, he's autistic and he's blind. His mother was a cocaine addict, heroin. He was a premature baby, and um. They had no hope for him. But now, he's just singing. And the song I kept listening to last night and this morning was, um, <clears throat> Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, I want to see you. And if God in her infinite, infinite wisdom came down right now, and she said to me, what do you want to ask me? I would like to say, why did you allow this to happen? <sighs> Sorry, um, I probably shouldn't upload this. Um, it's not very kind. I would just like to, probably should probably just talk to a therapist about this, huh? <laughs> I know that my mom can't help it. I know that she's doing the best that she can. I know that. But she can do her best with me not being here. I can do my best with not being here. As I've been trying to apply to jobs, um, I've been being, <laughs> I, something I say is like, I'll, I'll work anywhere. You know, I just, just give me the fuck out this house as long as I have some, some kind of shelter. But then I'm a hypocrite because I got a reply from a job in Iowa and I'm like, I don't know where the fuck Iowa is. Like, do you guys even have a sports team? You know, <laughs> I'm like, okay, not just anywhere. Your city needs of a sports team. Your state needs of a sports team. Um, but um, um, I think I'm just scared of being homeless again. But I mean, I've slept outside before. I can take a shower in gyms. Um, do my my makeup in the gym or at work. I'll do that. I just got to get out this house because I literally feel like I'm losing my mind. That's it. Um, I, f I feel like I should say something along the lines of what do you do when Don't use your your kid. Don't use, I need to have a baby because I'm, I'm feeling empty. I need to have a baby so I, that I could do a better job than my parents. Don't use that. Because you're just going to keep up with the cycle. 
And we don't need any more broken adults. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go now. Fuck, I probably shouldn't, shouldn't have done this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my perspective is so broken.